right now is a time for change. And I think that one of the most effective ways to, to help inspire change is through art. Revolution at the stroke of a brush. Internationally acclaimed artists Isaac Murdoch and Christy Belcourt have joined forces with environmentalists and First Nations groups to protest the Kinder Morgan pipeline by painting murals on specially built tiny houses that are due to be moved directly into the path of the pipeline. I think this is important because right now the government has their sights on building a pipeline from the tar sands directly to the ocean. And so this is something that is very concerning for me and that's, of course, that's why we're here. The tiny house is one of three built as part of an ongoing resistance to the Kinder Morgan pipeline project, which aims to bring oil from Alberta to the west coast of Canada for export. As you can see, the houses are actually on wheels and that's so that it can be placed in strategic locations to block the pipeline. But the real message here is the artwork which is being used to capture the public's attention. I don't think any good revolution can happen without good art. Christy Belcourt's art has appeared in the National Gallery and the Canadian Museum of History. She's hoping that this visual form of resistance can help motivate Canadians into taking action. The motivation is that we are in a time of rising climate, we are in a tipping point and we need to act. And this isn't just the artists or Indigenous people that need to act, this is everybody that needs to act or there won't be anything left for our children if we don't take action now. The houses are due to provide accommodation for the Sequetmo community and with another seven due to be built, you can expect more colourful confrontations coming your way. I'm Tom Walsh from Vancouver for City News.